Hey guys, this is Igor. In this video I'll walk you through the installation process of plugin Azen Flybox and also I'll show you how to tweak some settings. First of all, I'd like you to keep in mind that the plugin was developed to be as much automated as possible. Meaning all you really need to do is just install it, pop in your Amazon API keys and you should be able to see the plugin in action on your posts and pages right away. I'll begin with installation. If you're already familiar with these steps, you can just skip ahead. You install Azen Flybox just like any other plugins by simply going to Plugins, clicking Add New, then clicking Upload, locate your zip file, and hit Install Now. On this page, we just hit Activate Plugin. Now you'll notice this message saying the plugin is not active yet. It's because you need to activate your license. We simply click this link. You enter your PayPal email that you use to purchase the plugin. Check this uh, checkbox to agree to license agreement and click activate. You should be able to see the success message that your site has been activated and you are using this many of your unlimited licenses. Once you have your license activated you can proceed to configuring the plugin. You simply click this link and it will ask you if you want to take a quick setup tour. I recommend you take it. We simply follow the steps in a quick tour. In this step we need to set up a default country. This is used in case if your visitor comes from country that's not supported by Amazon. For example, like um, there is no Amazon program in Australia. So if you want users from Australia to see US listings, you would, you would choose uh, US listings here. Click in next. Here you will need to enter your um, Amazon access key ID, secret access key and associate tag. If you don't know what these are, simply click these question marks and they will take you to the FAQ page showing you where to get these API keys. Once you enter these keys you can proceed to the next step. It's just telling you to save your settings. If you entered all settings correctly you should be able to see this success message saying settings saved. If you see an error message here make sure to double check your um, key ID and uh, access keys. At this point we are pretty much set. The plugin is configured and if you visit a page or a post on your website you should be able to see it in action. Here's our post, I'm going to refresh that, scroll down a little bit, there we are. Going back to our admin area, the setup tool will ask you to take the next step. This is just to show you different appearance settings. As you can see you can um, change and tweak quite a bit like colors, animation, etc. You can play with these and check your site to achieve the best possible layout. Next step in the setup tour is, is the last step and it's just a thank you message and it gives you a couple of links that you can use for FAQs and video which links back to this video. Also here's a link to uh, friend me on Facebook. You can click dismiss that. Alright, next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to tweak your keywords. In case if you don't like some of these products that are being generated, uh, you can just go to the post, find that post, click edit, scroll down, look for this box that says Azon Flybox Data, and you will see these keywords here. For this post, these keywords were generated when I visited my post on the, on the site. The very first time somebody loads your page, the keywords get automatically generated. As I said before, the plugin is completely automated and you don't have to enter your keywords for every post or page. Even if you see this uh, field blank when you add a post or when you edit it, that just means that uh, the keywords will be generated next time somebody visits that page. Also, if you already have content and you hit update, you can use this link to automatically generate keywords from content. 
The plugin will analyze your content and will, and will try to generate the best keywords possible. Some people don't understand why keywords look like that. Um, first of all, yes, you can have regular keywords, like I can type iPad, iPhone, and head update. That's fine, and the plugin will generate regular keywords in case if there is no affiliate links in your content. Uh, these are ASINs, which stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number, which is pretty much just a uh, unique ID for a product. And the ASIN usually looks like this. It can start with a letter or a number or whatever. So what happened here is the plugin read your content. It found this affiliate link. It saw this ASIN right here. And using Amazon API and a unique keyword generation method I developed specifically for this and some of my other plugins, the plugin pulled relevant products in the same category within the same price range. This is a very precise targeting and these products usually come back super relevant. If you only wish to generate regular keywords, you can disable this smart search method by going to your uh, plugin settings hitting advanced tab and unchecking it here. You can also tweak other keyword generation settings on this screen. Currently there are five keyword generation methods, six if you have a plus version. These methods combined are very powerful and they usually return super relevant products. Sometimes when you tweak your keywords under the post or page, you'll find some irrelevant keywords or just words that look strange, like price or sale, something that can't really return any good products, you can put that word on the skip list in this box right here. Make sure you read these explanations. Everything is pretty much self-explanatory. If you ever have any question with any of these settings, just uh, email me support at pluginsbyigor.com. Scrolling down, we have this uh, miscellaneous box. Here you can disable the plugin on, on all posts or all pages or sometimes you may have uh, some other custom post types like products or something you can disable or enable it there. There is a very useful tool here that's disabled by default I'd like to show it to you. Uh, it's a HTML selector and I'll show you what it's used for in a minute. We're simply going to select yes, save our settings. You'll notice when I go to my page the plugin is triggered when I scroll down about 200 pixels and that's uh, and that's how I have it set up on my appearance tab trigger offset 200 pixels you can uh, try different values here like 300 pixels or something or you can even use percentages for example if you want the plugin to trigger only when somebody scroll down about half of the page you simply enter 50% Additionally, you can have the flybox trigger when scrolling reaches certain element on a page. Let's check it out. Watch this uh, admin bar. I refreshed it and this HTML inspector showed up because we enabled it in uh, uh, advanced settings tab. Let's say I wanted my uh, flybox trigger when somebody reaches this comment area. I'm going to click HTML inspector and you'll notice it will highlight elements and and show you their classes or IDs. I'm going to click on uh, leave reply here. Use this field to uh, copy the ID of the element. Let's go back to our appearance settings. I'm going to check this checkbox and paste what I just copied. I'll hit save settings and we can try that again. Refresh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There we are. That should be good to get you started for now. There are other settings here, but everything is pretty much self-explanatory. And even if you don't know something, just email me support at pluginsbyigor.com and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. This is Igor.